Hello and welcome back. We've finally done it. We are at part 30 and we're closing up. I believe we're closing up in this episode on the sixth crystal star, which means I'm doing pretty, pretty well. Oh, from King K, but not right now though. All aboard, ready to hop on board. Yep. That's how I want to start the episode because I'm just like, I remember when I first did this, it took me 60 parts and I did do a lot of optional parts and stuff like that, but it was beyond that. It was also like, I didn't know how to pace my content it was my first ever let's play you got to learn somehow and now it's been like so many years and stuff also someone's giving me work to censor stuff but oh well <laughs> bing bong bing bong thank you for your patience our next stop is our last poshly hi i'm to sleep excess express day three a new day and it's such a totally cool and brisk morning yep that it is oh my voice all right so um let's see let's uh see what we got to do Oh, there's nobody here, except for this guy. He's open, but he's asleep. Maybe the conductor? No, the conductor isn't here. And the door is locked. How do you open it, I wonder? Oh! What a nice touch! Can I see it again? Yup! You can see them, those little things that we dealt with over at the station. They're in there. But we can't open the door. Let's go talk to the uh, engineer. Hello there. Where is everybody? It's quite its quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Yes, I agree. Oh, hello. Is there something on the windshield? Uh-oh. What are these things? Ew, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What Sh should I do? <laughs> For first, we have to ensure the passenger safety, but I have to keep the driving the train. Could you check the rest of the train for me? Sure. Um, everybody's dead. The end. No. They're- they're somewhere. We gotta find them, though. They're not in their cabins. That's- that's- now that we know that these little things are here, we gotta check on people. But I think first things first, we could probably check on the guy that was taking a snooze for items and stuff. Oh my god. That's creepy. How are you still asleep? I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. How goes it? I need to get rid of crap. Let's see, hold on. There is there's a reason why I'm showing you guys this. I'm showing you guys this because this is where some items come into play. And you'll see soon why. So, as you guys know, I've been just going through badge power like you wouldn't believe. Like, that means I only have 20 flower power. If I had excess flower power, I would just fire jinx everything in this next fight that you're about to see. But because I don't have that much fire, uh, flower power, and I need the flower power to actually do considerable damage to the thing we need to fight, um, the items will come in handy. Smorgy. Let's take him out. Get out of here. Who invited you on the train? Get out of here. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to beat the crap out of you. I thought there were still more smorgs on you. Damn it. I have to do this the hard way. God. All right, there we go. Oh man, they were like being eaten alive or something. Detective Mario, you saved us again? I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come from? Wait, they still have other paying passengers, all those poor souls. Poor souls. Why do you have, why do you care if they're paying passengers or not though? They're still people. Ow. Okay. Okay, we gotta deal with these smorgs. That's what they call themselves. Oh lord. Okay. God, I can't even see myself. I wish my hammer actually sounded like a hammer. <laughs> it, it sounds like a rubber mallet. God, there's so many. I don't remember there being this many at Riverside Station. I wonder what happened. Do they, like, multiply at the exponential level? There we go. Smorg. They're not very happy that I've been beating the crap out of them. Oh boy, it's growing. Oh my. Now for some music I'm looking forward to. What is that gross thing? No! Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! Uh. Alright. Smorg.
Yeah. Ooh. Wait, what? Only three smorg miasmas? Interesting. Oh, good music. Smorg. Lots of smorgs gathered to create this huge monster. 50 HP, 5 attack, 1 defense. It attacks with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless we defeat the tentacles. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms that expose more of its gross body to boost its attack power. Is it always 4 HP? I thought it had more HP than 4. Did they nerf it? I don't remember it being 4. But anyway. So. This is a, so normally I would power lift, but I'm not going to do that right away. I'm gonna Thunder Rage. <laughs> also, wasn't the main body supposed to be red? Well, there it is. There's the red body. I guess they changed how the aesthetically it works. Alright. Now we're going to power lift. Because Goombella is now going to do something for the first time since the last time I played this game. So give me one sec. Oh, only three attack? Ah, oh, that's fine. I'll live. I'll live. We'll live. Okay. Attack is boosted. Defense is boosted. Okay. So watch this. We're going to do a rally wink. Tap B A as shown. So what this does... What this does is it gives Mario an extra turn at the cost of Goombellas. Which is absolutely god tier. Because I'm going to do this. Please do this right. Yeah! 20 damage. Let's go. Now, you want to hear something funny? And also kind of f***ed up? Oh. Oh. Well, good thing I have defense. I'm just an idiot. Oh, I'm still an idiot. Hold on. I'll get this right one day. There we go. See, I got it. I can't commentate and be good at video games at the same time. Okay. So, so you want to hear something messed up? Here, here's the messed up part. First, I'm going to use an item. I'm going to use an ice storm. Only three damage? I thought it was more than three damage. Well, I guess the ice storm's worthless now. I will use the shooting star, though, because it's fine. I don't need it. So here's the messed up part. I've been teasing you guys for long enough. I learned this through King of Skills video, and I think it is true. The reason why I'm not using power bounce and the reason why I kept failing at the fourth jump is because they changed something. I think they changed it. I don't think it was ever the case in the original game. But now, to execute the fourth jump properly, which is the wonderful jump, you have a one frame input. It is a one frame in input. You have to get it exactly on the one frame. Otherwise, you fail the power bounce. I think they made it harder because I never, well, I wouldn't say I never failed it on the fourth bounce on the original game, but I don't think I failed it that often. So they nerfed power bounce essentially for this remake. And I am absolutely, oh, I missed. That's just me being dumb. Hey, I'm invisible, that works. So, like, I think it's the same for multi-bunk. Two, three. Okay, that's just me being stupid. And let me just finish this with a normal jump. Oh, we don't get to see crane mode. Yeah, so this, this creature does have a mode where he turns into, like, a crane. And he can, like, use a pincer attack against you. But since I like to cheese bosses, I kill them really fast. 31 star points. That is enough for a level up. Sweet. But yeah, back to the main point. A hand. Um, damn. One frame input. I don't care how good something used to be. Also, I'm getting badge power. I'm not learning my lesson. <laughs> um, I don't care how good an item was to the point where, like, speed, spat, speed runs the game or it's, like, the meta or whatever, right? Like, I don't care about any of that. Asking any player from casual to competitive to, you know, try hard, whatever it can be, you... You're asking for too much. It's a one-frame input. Nothing in any in video game, hell, even the Soulsborne games, don't ask you for one-frame inputs. They ask you for three-frame inputs, but they don't ask you for one-frame inputs. Super Guard is a three-frame input. And I'm okay with that, because there's a high payoff for that. It's, you know, you if you get the three-frame input right for the Super Guard, you take no damage, and you return damage to your opponent. So that's why Super Guard is so amazing, and that's why it has to be three frames. But Power Bounce, the only reason why Power Bounce is really good is because of everything else you can stack on top of it. But making a one frame input on the fourth jump is just pretty much sending the middle finger to people who like using Power Jump. And you're just going to make a bunch of kids feel really bad for not being able to execute Power Jump very well. 
Anyway, sorry for the mini rant. Out of everything that I love about this game, I can't believe they made it a one frame input. That's the one thing that upsets me about this game. Everything else so far is perfect. I love it. But one frame input for the fourth jump of power jump or power bounce? Unacceptable. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Yeah, they're just thanking us. Thank you, Luigi. You know that stuff. Yeah, I had to get through my heated rant because like I said, I love this game. It's like my favorite game of all time. And when I hear stuff like that happen, I'm kind of just like, come on, you did everything so well. This could have easily been a 10 out of 10 remake, but now it's a 9.5 out of 10 remake because of the one frame input. Now you can never use power bounce to its full efficiency. And I know maybe I'm just griping over nothing. Maybe, maybe the overall experience of the game doesn't have to revolve around power bounce, but like crippling an option because it was really good in the original game. It's just in my opinion, in bad taste, in very bad taste. Anyway, I still have the ice storm, which is unfortunate. I thought it did more damage than three damage. They maybe maybe they nerfed the ice storm. I'm not so sure. I'll have to look that up later. Anyway, rant complete. I am sorry. <laughs> There's a note here. What does that say? Danger. No entry. I don't remember that being there. Is there new content to this remake? So you're probably wondering, what am I doing? Well. There's some secrets. See, in the original game, I could not, I couldn't find this slit. But here it is. An HP drain partner, which is worthless, but I need it for the badge collection. <laughs> oh, let me check something real quick. Do you have piranhas in your pool? Yes, you do. Who the hell has piranhas in their pool? <laughs> Anywho, star piece here. That makes sense. You can buy fresh pasta over here, but I don't need it right now. So it's fine. I'll leave that be for now. The inn is over here. Uh, I'm good. I leveled up. I just took that one damage from the fish. fish. Oh, there it is. Poshly Sanctum. And here we have a Shine Sprite. Which means we have to spring jump to it. Give me that. <laughs> I'm glad he still falls down when he does that. He never fell down when he normally did that. A note. Gone traveling. Sanctum manager. Well, crap. No way. This is super weak. What do we do? Ah, uh, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Aha, so Pennington is the Sanctum Manager. You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager. I thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that's more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Yes, let's. We have a Crystal Star to go get. They beat us here. Mwee <laughs> you're one step too late. We have the Crystal Star. See ya, see ya. And then Duplis is like, oh crap. Hey, don't leave without me. And out he goes from the broken window he, he went, came in from. We gotta go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here. Speak quickly. Yes, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the crystal star in this sanctum. Oh, ho, ho, yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring, a fake. Oh, nice. The real one is hidden somewhere in the Sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the real Coastal Star, while well, I Sanctum Manager, I'm of course prohibited from telling anybody. However, I do know where it is. Of that you can be well certain. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi, put us all... Put to use all the razor-sharp sleuthing skills I taught you. Make me proud. Yeah, what skills, dude? Anyway, yes. So, thank God that was a fake. So, let's go get this show on the road. So as you can see, you have these little star tiles. You got a spring jump here and you just have to like go around. So I'm just gonna speed this up. Oh, wait a minute. I don't remember that item box here. A thunder rage. Okay, thanks. I guess I get my thunder rage back from when I used it against the smorg, but I don't remember. Th I don't remember a box being there. I wonder why they're giving away freebies. There's another one. I don't remember these. A mystery. Damn, that's a shame. Alright. And there we go. Switch hit. Pipe revealed. Get into the painting. What the hell? Oh, the curtain's actually in my way. It was never the case before. In we go. Damn, this inner sanctum. So shiny and nice. Oh god, all these purple boos. Oh god. 
Okay, well, we got tattled them, so I don't mind as much. Two of them. I don't remember how much health they have. Let's see. Dark Boo. 8 HP, 5 attack. Okay. Okay, that sounds pretty... Pretty standard. Attack like a normal Boo. So, 8 HP. I don't think I'll be able to kill both of them at the same time. Damn it. I just want the Crystal Star. I don't want to deal with you. Hello. Boom. You got a Crystal Star. 7. And now sh got Showstopper. As a kid, I would use Showstopper religiously. Tough fight in the pit of 100 trials? Showstopper. Uh, a, a fight I didn't want to bother putting any other inputs in? Showstopper. It was my, like, Magnus Op Opus. Is that how you say it? Opus Magnus? No, it's Magnus Opus, yeah. Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the partially hide sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be in? Where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. We don't go straight to the uh, interlude with Peach and Bowser yet. No, 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 not yet. I want that. See, see that up there in the corner? Let's go get that real quick. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is that a bushy on a brick? I'm leaving that there because that's funny. Oh, shine sprite though. Yes. Yes. Give me the Luigi emblem. Uh, long, a while back, I remember, I did a part where I went to like the merchant guy. You know, the one in Rogueport. And he had a warrior emblem. And I would love to finish this game as Waluigi again. Because yeah, if you didn't know, if you mix the Luigi emblem with the warrior emblem, and you get the, the, the color purple, and you become Waluigi. Hello, Pennington. Hmm, so that's where it was. Uh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Yeah, me too. I love thinking out loud. Congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please feel free to take it. I will just put another fake on over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Let's get back to Rogueport. Yes, let us leave. A first, Peach segment. Oh boy, here we go, here we go, I know what's happening. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess, that means Mario's managed to get the real one? Uh, I'm gonna say, maybe. <laughs> Ugh. This mustache menace is nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble, mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I am positive, sir. Erg. Treason! Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. Strange. Isn't it about time for Tech to call me? Maybe he's busy. Yep, there he is. Oh, here we go. Yes. Let us see how Tech is doing. He might have deciphered the information. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether or not to obey orders or to speak with you. And I have also struggled to with what I should believe. Tech, you should you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this plate as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you pro you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say it, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus' plan. Grotus' plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you're being held here. According to the data... Fade to black. <laughs> No, no way. That's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That's why you must escape here as fast as possible. How can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you're currently imprisoned? This is the moon. Yep, she's on the moon. You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? Yeah, that is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. I am the base computer. No one will know if you escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape, escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Let's type in a mail. Uh oh. Fire the door. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Problems. Eek. You. Yep. Yeah. <gasps> the theme. We're gonna hear that later. We're gonna hear that later. And I can't wait. Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. 
Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster, what are you planning to do with him? Gak -gak -gak. Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all, deleting, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, tech. Excellent. At the same time, press the red buttons. Got it, sir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. System delete. Wow, that's a lot more fancier stuff. Mail sent. Princess Peach. I. I. Oh, love. Oh, that's love, yeah. Love. You. Yep. And his cache is being cleared. Yike. Just like that, tech has died. Deletion complete. Ooh, even the eye. Damn. Tech! Gah, gah. Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech's no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play. Yes, very important. No. Gak. Yep. We don't know what that plan is because they faded to black. But it's not exactly great. Aha, this chapter. Bowser, you won't save me. I got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, that wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? This keeps up. Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp. As usual. Your massiveness. Little cami. God, that noose. <laughs> Blowing in the wind. <laughs> oh my god. We did it. The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Hmm, <laughs> about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. Hammer Bros. Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're, scra they're scrapping... Scraping? Tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. <laughs> Let's-a go. Luigi, I'm here still. <laughs> Freaking Luigi, I love that. I'm sorry if you heard buzzing. I just saw the, the tiny little, it's like the tiniest little fruit fly. And for some reason, it loves this microphone. It's never done this before in its entire life. And it decides to do it now. All right, but now we got uh, what I believe is the final uh, Bowser stage. I'm glad that they updated the graphics and stuff, but I would have loved to see the classic fire. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, if I'm tiny, I can go underneath there, but I chose not to be. Damn, X not scientists. Get out of here. Oh god, I'm massive. Whoop. And that's the stage. Why do I remember it? Oh. Oh, problems. Uh. Oh my god, I almost messed that up. Because it just lets me walk into it. And I was just breaking everything. Oh god, that was actually really close. I would have to do the level again. <laughs> One singular firework. I'll dig it. What the hell? The training room. So shiny, too. Everything is shiny in this game. Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Please, no problem. I felt right at home. Yeah, I get it, because it's the castles from Mario, the original Mario Bros. But where are we now? Gracious me, look. Lord Bowser, on the wall, behind you. A belt. He has just a single portrait of Jolene. Gee, I wonder why. Seeing all these pictures here, like some of them make sense. Oh, he's even got one with Prince Mush you can kind of see with Jolene. Wow, I appreciate this. And he's got the big picture with Grubba, but Grubba's kind of, you know, a felon. <laughs> so yeah. Free you chumps. Who's there? Rock Hawk. Ha ha, don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk. You little punk weasel. You forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty. You, you're good. Of course, good doesn't count for squat in this biz, babe. My champion's belt is mine. Oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever seen a weakling do this? Oh. Well. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh wait, I can actually advance the text, but it's so funny. It's so funny. He kicked the crap out of Cammy 
Oh my god, I thought that was Bowser's doing in the original. God, aw, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. I thought he called him something along the lines of a pancake. Oh, the crystal store. Nah. Hmm? Eek. It's split in two. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser. This is just glass. It's a flim flam. A fake. Wait, what are you saying? Use words, I know. You, oh, uh, want the real one? The great Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. <laughs> I don't know your name, Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nuggets. Crud, who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this shit's funny. I love it. Pain. That's that's like that's gonna be one of my favorite moments in the game. Just Rock Hawk getting squashed, and then just him going pain. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Oh, mail. Hold on. An email from Princess Peach. Oh boy. Let's see how this goes. Mario, I now know I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my uh. The moon? Like the one in space? Princess Peach is on the moon? I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool, but why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh, you don't think something happened to her? Yes, something did happen to her. Something bad. Hi, Luigi. <laughs> anyway, I need to call it a part here. I had to take a break, because my gut likes to be an asshole. Stupid. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, when we go out to the next part, we're going to be showing this crystal star to the thousand year door, and ooh, I don't know, I'll play it by ear, I guess. But anyway, until next time. Take care of yourselves and wait and be sure to hit all the buttons that help me. I'm delirious right now. I don't know what's happening with me. Send help. Now, take care of yourselves.